Chapter 149 Mastering Beast Taming for the First Time D My Immortal Essence Blood The Legacy of D My Immortal Chan Han Underscore 3 Only beings of immortal caliber can preserve their corporeal forms beyond death. Even after a millennium has passed, his remains remain untouched by decay. Han Yi confronted this sight not with fear, but with anticipation. Finally, he had discovered a means to contend with Lu Zhuan Shuang and potentially extract her Demi Immortal Remnant Soul. A Demi Immortal Remnant Soul is essentially the enduring essence of an immortal being. While alive, a Demi Immortal can exert control over its immortal essence through its physical vessel. Upon a Demi Immortal's demise, it's feasible to reclaim the Remnant Soul using the Demi Immortal's blood. Demi Immortal Chan Han. Han Yi murmured softly deciphering the inscription on the old man's tombstone. Chen Han. This Demi Immortal, hailed from the Middle Ages as a quasi-immortal. He ventured here in pursuit of immortality, but inadvertently trespassed into the domain of the golden cicada true immortal. Conflict ensued, leading to his demise in this place. Gazing upon the thousand-year-old Chen Han, Han Yi felt a stirring within him. This cadaver held significant potential. For example, even a drop of immortal blood is an invaluable asset, potentially compelling Lu Zhuangshuan's remnant soul to vacate her vessel. However, obtaining Demi Immortal Chan Han's blood is only the first step. Retrieving the remnant soul from Lu Zhuangshuan requires employing specific clandestine techniques. Ordinarily, only a powerhouse of the deity transformation realm could forcibly recall the remnant soul through the Demi Immortal's blood, as it necessitates tapping into the power of the primordial spirit. Since Hanyi had cultivated the immovable rakshasa body, he could also commune with the primordial spirit and harness a fraction of its power, enabling him to execute such a method. Hanyi rested the karma lotus true fire upon the icy surface. Infusing magical energy into the karma lotus true fire, it burst into flames, rapidly melting the ice. After roughly two hours, only a thin layer of ice remained upon the old man's skeletal remains. Retracting the karma lotus true fire, Honey struck the ice with his palm, causing it to fracture. Doom. The ice shattered, unleashing a potent wave of immortal energy that sent Honey hurtling backward. A dense mist of blood emanated from the old man's remains, coalescing into a crimson cloud. Each tendril of mist resembled a serpentine dragon, swirling in the air with an ominous hiss. De my immortal bloodlines are formidable, containing potent immortal energy that persists even after a millennium. Undoubtedly, these are the bones of Demi Immortal Chan Han, Han Yi concluded as he observed the blood mist. Placing a jade bottle on the ground, he extended his spiritual sense, encompassing an 80-meter radius, and began refining the blood mist into droplets. Each strand of mist condensed into a drop of Demi Immortal Essence blood. After three full days, Han Yi had condensed all the mist into 64 drops of Demi Immortal Essence blood, storing them in the jade bottle. A single drop of Demi Immortal Blood is worth dozens of times more than Dragon Saliva True Liquid, capable of enhancing a physique akin to that of the Dragon Clan. 64 drops of Demi Immortal Blood represented an immense fortune. If word of Han Yi's possession of such blood were to spread, it would undoubtedly attract lethal attention. Even Deity Transformation Realm powerhouses would not hesitate to eliminate him. A millennium has passed, and much of Qian Han's blood has decayed, leaving only 64 drops brimming with vitality. In a few more decades, these last remnants will likely perish as well. Having secured the Demi Immortal blood, Hani bowed reverently to Demi Immortal Chan Han's remains. Thank you for your legacy, esteemed senior. With a large stone, he erected a monument and inscribed six characters upon it. Tomb off Demi Immortal Chan Han.